a Japanese research organization created M. Sinchi and M. Nyoni, two super and high-tech advanced baby humanoids. Whereas those two robots were strange but appeared to be harmless and safe, the baby humanoid robot Yotoro, created by the Tosabuka University in Japan, appears to be quite frightening. Just take a glance at the images. Yotoro has been in existence for a while, but the university recently reportedly demonstrated the newest version to the international media. The robot's goal is to mimic the behavior of a real human baby, and it has a stockpile of ploys to do so. A sensitive skin touch face, artificial tear ducts, hot water flows beneath Yotoro's overlarge cheeks whenever he's weeping, speaker system, he can laugh and cry, and motors for his hands and feet. Depending upon how frequently you touch the face of Yotoro, he can alter his facial movements and expressions, sleep, run a sickness, and fall into a positive or negative mood. But he isn't intended to be adorable, which is surprising given Japan's penchant for making literally everything as adorable as possible. So why not infants? Here's an English language video produced by the College of Tusokoba. Whereas most individuals are acquainted with small baby simulation dolls used to educate students about childcare, they are unlikely to be familiar with Yotora, a humanoid robot baby simulation platform with a graphical user interface for a face. This peculiar invention is the outcome of research led by Hiroki Kenimura at Tosboka University, Japan. Yotoro is an interactive humanoid robot that mimics a wide range of baby-like facial movements and expressions and psychological characteristics. The gadget responds to the user via an advanced motion control system that tracks and detects the actions they are taking and delivers an associated reaction. That humanoid baby can do a wide range of activities that set it apart from basic baby training dolls, such as crying actual tears on its two-dimensional face. Because of this, as well as its strange form factor and cartoon face, the Yotoro necessitates some creativity to recognize it as a real baby. Engineer Arts, a UK-based tech firm Robotics, made a big splash a month before with a teaser video of its humanoid robotic system, which had many uncanny gestures as well as expressions and quickly went viral on social media. Elon Musk, among others, addressed the video, expressing how disturbing it was to see the robots executed flawlessly impressions. We can finally learn more about the robot's activities. Engineered Arts brought its America robot. According to its maker, it's a she. The experience was as unsettling as we had anticipated, and it was obvious that the exceptional bot wasn't the outcome of CGI trickery. Previously, we've seen already robots and artificial intelligence-based machines, Morgan Rowe, the director of operations at Engineered Arts, told CNET on Zoom, and then it became real. While America did not speak during the discussion, the humanoid robot seemed to react to just what Roe was speaking, as if a slightly overly expressive human of the flesh and blood was standing next to him. Roe also stated that America was not intended to optically mimic an actual person or humans, and that the team purposefully pulled it back from the uncanny valley by providing it with a robotic appearance. So, what exactly will America do? This is most likely service robotics, Roe notified CNET, and that America would need 10 to 20 years to interact with actual humans. Roe also described how well the Robox 2 cameras can monitor the face of people. It's a stunning example of humanoid robotics taken to its logical conclusion, as well as a spectacular feat of mechanics that demonstrate how far robotic innovation has progressed. Really, don't keep staring too long into America's eyes or you'll be duped into believing that she's real. Engineered Arts, a humanoid robotic system designer and a producer based in the United Kingdom, recently showcased one of their most realistic-looking creations in a YouTube clip. America, the humanoid robot is shown displaying a series of extremely human-like facial movements and expressions. Yes, America robot exists. In fact, America is indeed the world's most sophisticated humanoid robot, created by Engineered Arts, a UK-based firm. The company went public on YouTube last year after posting a YouTube clip of America's wide range of human-like facial movements and expressions, Humanoid robots are already in existence. A human-looking robot can be bought for as little as $8,000, while the most advanced models priced around $30,000. They do not have legs to walk because the industry does not value that, the expert explains in a press conference with Tech Review. Elon Musk has set a new goal for himself, humanoid robotic systems. The entrepreneur revealed a Tesla bot working model that intends to perform repetitive activities that are currently only performed by humans. It is scheduled to be finished next year. 
so it appears that the tech exists for humanoid robotic systems to do housework in a Jetson style. Thus, according to Mauricio Corona, the president of BP Goras, a Mexican company that develops humanoid robotic systems, said they are still expensive products that is primarily used in advanced manufacturing or service environments. That is the issue. This technology is currently available, but is beyond our budget range. Robots cannot cry, bleed, or feel the same as humans, which is one of the things that distinguishes them. What would happen if they had the ability to think like us, humans? Inspired by biological robotic systems aren't just a recurring theme in films and comics. They're being developed by scientists and engineers across the world. Artificial intelligence appears to have a gender issue, as evidenced by the emergence of female robots like Sophia and the prominence of female virtual personal assistants like Suri for Apple, Cortana for Microsoft, and Alexa for Amazon. Gynoids are gender-specific feminine human-looking robots. They frequently appear in sci-fi movies. Female humanoid robots, female android systems, or fembots are some other names for them. Even though the media has used words like robotics, cyberdoll, replicant, sound, and way of speaking, almost all modern cultural robots are outfitted with an inbuilt speaker system and simulated voice recognition software, allowing them to speak anything they're programmed to say in a way that humans in the vicinity can understand. How is a healthcare robot that bleeds, weeps, pees, and exhibits other human-like behaviors? Before working with actual patients, medical students and professors use how to understand how to diagnose and treat illnesses. How is part of a robot line manufactured by Gumard? The robotics field is rapidly expanding. Robots now can carry out complex moves with grace, such as backflips, parkour moves, and even sculpturing traditional sculptures. Conclusion? Both systems have comparable functionalities and features. However, Alexia defeats Suri, a top-quality advanced system due to its inclusivity and in seamlessly integrating with various devices. The treatment of Tay by other online users was chilling, but just not unprecedented. The first bots, as well as digital assistants, were intended to appear female. Frederick Kaufmann in Germany created the very first humanoid robot, a warrior with a trumpet, in 1810. Until at least April 30th, 1950, the robot was already on display. One of the very first humanoid robot systems was displayed as the Model Engineer Society's yearly exhibition held in London in 1928. Companies had introduced AI-based products like smart robots and chatbots with names of females, female voices, and bodies on multiple occasions. Previous studies have shown that individuals prefer female bots over male bots, primarily because female bots were perceived as warmer and more likely to express emotions. Let another person know that you're delighted to be speaking with them. You might try to calm them down by praising their communication skill. Once they ask you a question, for instance, say something such as, that's a fascinating question. The simpler the discussion will flow, the more comfortable you are. All right, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel for more updates.